Hi. And welcome to Cyber Sunset. Hi. I'm Jen. I'm Zach. And we are free drying onions today. So this is a project that has needed to be done for quite some time. Just kept putting it off because we do a lot of other things and sometimes chopping onions doesn't sound fun. <laughs> well, when you have like 20 pounds over uh -huh. here. That's a lot. It's quite a bit. Uh, I actually think it's 40. 40 pounds. 40 pounds, yeah. So we're gonna do that today, but we have a lot to tell you on that. It's not just so watch us freeze dry onions. Like we've got a lot of information, a lot of stuff to tell you, um, some fun in the kitchen and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. Zach's gonna get to chop it. <laughs> and he'll be there for a while. Yep. Oh, all right, so what do you say? It's like onions. I'll wash my hands. And, <laughs> <laughs> so we got all the onions cut up. One thing that we've done in the experience when we freeze dry onions is make sure that they're a little thicker, like so. Like you don't want them to be super thin, just because once they're freeze dried, I mean they're going to be they're just going to turn into dust. So do that. Make sure it's a little bit thicker. We have them pretty packed in here, uh, but it is now time to get them in the freeze dryer. So we have the Harvest Right medium size with the premi uh, premium oil pump. Um, this is one of the older versions now that do have newer ones that are out. Because like the medium, I think you get more trays in there and stuff. However, we, we still love it. Um, it's been great for us. We have already started the cool down process. So once you turn it on, it needs 15 minutes to cool down and then you're ready to put your food in. All right, they're in. And one of the fun things that we always like to do when we freeze dry is to guess how long. Mm -hmm. 16 hours. 27 hours. All right. What's your guess? Let's put them down below. Hopefully the shorter because our house is going to smell like onions until that's over. <laughs> <laughs> but there's like sweet by the onions, so it smells really it's good, good, but hands <laughs> All right, the onions are done. So let's see how long it took. It took 30 hours and 26 minutes. Now, one thing to remember is that was a lot of time to freeze. So if you pre-freeze these, that cuts your time down a lot because the freeze dryer doesn't have to freeze the items that are in there. They're already pre-froze. So that is one option that you could do. You could pre-freeze them, cut that time down a lot. Well, let's check them out. Crunchy. They should completely snap apart like so. Oh, you're gonna regret that. <laughs> you have onion bread. You'll regret it. Don't kiss <laughs> me later. <laughs> All right, so onions are diverse. I don't know if that's the word I'm going for. Um, we use these like almost every single dinner that we have. So we're gonna put them in a gallon glass jar with an oxygen absorber and just a regular lid. And we're gonna store them on our pantry shelf. Um, we're almost done with the ones that we have in our glass jar now, so this will be good to replace them with. However, we do have um, Mylar bags, a lot of Mylar bags full of freeze-dried onions in our basement that we keep for long-term storage, say an emergency situation, or you know, we get through these and we don't have any more, then we'll go to those. But onions are something that we regularly freeze dry because it is something that we use all the time and you can get such good deals on onions like we get um, 40 pounds from azure standard like once every six months and that's enough for us we do grow and supplement a little um, but for the bulk of our onion use we buy them from azure standard it's a really good source they're organic you know they're ethically sourced and we love them they're huge bulbs we get the yellow onions and we also get the red or purple onions I don't know why people call them red onions because they're purple, but uh, mostly we pickle those and we freeze dry these. So yeah, we're just going to put these in our gallon jar. And if that's not something that you use frequently, or if you have more, then put them in a Mylar bag, seal them up, put them in a cool, dry place for long-term storage, and they'll last for up to 25 years if you 
have them sealed correctly with oxygen absorbers and they are completely freeze dried. That's one mistake that sometimes people make is they don't get all the moisture out and then they're not sealed or stored properly. So we were able to fill up that one full gallon and then we actually topped off our other one that we had going on here. So now we have two full gallons of freeze dried onions. They will not last long. No. So I know she said we use these pretty much every day, but I did want to get a little bit more detail for that on why we like freeze drying these. Um, we have canned caramelized onions mm -hmm. in the past and we do love caramelized onions, but onions are also one of those tougher things to preserve. So having the freeze dryer really makes it easy for us to make sure that we have all the onions that we need. Um, I don't hate these as a snack freeze dry. Mm -hmm. They're very sweet, especially if you get a sweet onion like we have. Um, it, it, it doesn't have like that real bad bite. It almost tastes like a sweet treat, to yeah. be honest with you. So they're kind of nice just to eat freeze dried. We throw them in almost every stew that we have. We'll just grab a handful and throw and it broth. in there. When I'm making broth, I always yeah. throw them in. Yeah, um, and then also like you can still saute these things up. Yeah. So you would just rehydrate them within uh, whatever you want. That I think is one of the biggest like underplayed and downplayed items about freeze dried food. You don't have to rehydrate them with water. Yeah. They just need liquid to rehydrate. And then whatever you're rehydrating that with, the, the food item is absorbing all of that. So like when you're talking about like moisturizing meat or you're trying to do anything like that with, to get the flavor. So like use broth. You know what I mean? So then you have an onion that is truly rehydrated with broth. Yeah. So it's just going to be even more flavorful. Um, and then we can we saute them right back up into the frying pan or whatever we want to do. But this just gives you so many options to have so many onions for such a long period of time. While we have you here. <laughs> uh, we we love you. our freeze dryer. If it's something that you're on the fence about, please get one. Use our link below. Um, it'll give you a discount. It gives us a little kickback. And... Everyone that has gotten one through our code has been completely satisfied and they love it. And it's just something that we use all the time. And people ask that, like, do you really use it? Yes, we do. We we use it more than canning, to be yes. honest with you, because it's just constantly running. Um, and before she moves on to the next topic, I did want to say, I, th I had it in my head. It was there. It was when you talked about freeze dry and the link down below. What was I guess we'll move on to the next topic. <laughs> I remember now. I, the, the biggest, I, I'll say complaint, but the biggest thing that holds people back is the price point on freeze dryers. We don't make them. We don't know how much it costs, but I do know that the, it's a very expensive machine. You can tell there's a lot of things that go on to it to make it an expensive item. They do offer layaway. Mm -hmm. um, so it's one of those things that you can go ahead and get it down, pay for it as you need to, like beat it down, and then you'll finally get it kind of thing. Um, so don't worry too much about that. They do work with you. They want people to have freeze dryers in their homes. So yeah. they're, they're definitely willing to work that out. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. And on our channel, Stivers Homestead, which you are on now. Hopefully we post on the right one. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we didn't mix these two up. <laughs> Uh, we do have our Valentine's sale going on, which we are really excited about. Go check out our website, thesourshomestead.com. We still got sourdough starters. We've still got tinctures and teas and all kinds of things, spices that you can get for your significant other or your best friend, your parents, whoever you love on Valentine's Day. It doesn't have to be a spouse, but it's 15% off $20, orders of $20 or more. Yeah. You don't need a code. It's automatically applied, and there is free shipping for $50 or more, so... Go check it out. See if there's anything you can't live without. And your turn. My turn. <laughs> um, we also did want to give a little selfish uh, plug for our own other channel, Stivers Uncensored. Um, it's been going really well over there. We're talking a lot of truths about marriages, spouses, relationships in general. So if that's something that you're curious about, make sure to check that out. It's growing fast. You want to join the group. Yeah, and it does get spicy. So if you're interested, go see. Like real spicy. <laughs> like y'all should see the last video that was just posted. Is that? I don't know which one this no, is. No, this it won't be. This one's first. No, actually, the other one's first. Because that's tomorrow, yes. and then this one's after. Yes. So, yeah, real spicy one that came out yesterday if you want to check that out. All those links are down below. Um, we just like to keep you all informed, let you know what's going on, because sometimes you don't get all the videos. You catch one here and there, depending on what you're liking. So we want to make sure that you know all the up-to-date information. Yep. All right, y'all, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. We love y'all. Until the next one. Bye. Bye.